How's it going everybody? I know it's been a long time since I had a video, but today we're back out in the forge and I'm gonna show you how to make a swing arm grill. That's what it's uh, starting out as just a piece of, uh, what is that, five, it's five sixteenths rod. Then we're gonna bend it over and turn it into a circle. And I will get back and we'll start doing that. All right, so what we're gonna do is I already put it on a little bend because that's where I'm gonna have it at a 90. But before I do that, I wanna draw this piece of metal right here out a little bit so that'll create our full circle. What I like to do whenever I'm drawing it out is I like turning it into a square the whole way down. Like this. So, I don't know if you can see, but it's it's starting to become a square. So, it developed a little bit of a curve, so I'm going to flatten that out. But, I'm still putting that square on it so that I can draw it out. Now, I'll bring it up to the camera so that you can see a little bit better of a square on that, like that. See how I squared it out? Like I said, that's how I draw it out. That's not how you have to do it if you're into forging or whatever, but that's just how I do it. So now that it's all on a, or a square, I'm gonna start drawing it out. And when I say draw it out, what I mean is I'm gonna make the piece that I bent, make it, it's gonna be a smaller diameter, but it's also gonna make it a little bit longer. Alright, so now what I'm doing, I got it drawn out to the length that I want. I got it right here. That's where I'm going to bend it over on a 90 degree. Alright, I got it at my 90 where I want it, but it developed a little bit of a bend, so I got to straighten that out. Now it's on that 90 that I want. Straighten that out. Now I'm going to start bending it into a circle the opposite direction of the way that I bent that 90. If it's not a perfect circle, ain't no big issue. Whatever shape really will do, and you can just make it work. It's just going to be there to hold your pot. But I like getting stuff almost perfect, so I got to put it back into it for another heat. And that's so far. That's what I got. I'm going to put it in, heat it back up, and I'm going to use some pliers to make that into a better circle. Well, right now it kind of looks like Bo Peep's hook, but we're going to fix that up with a little bit more hammering and then I'm going to use some pliers to straighten it out and get it a little bit better. myself that's a dag near perfect circle all right so i got it back out it's hot again i'm gonna take the wire brush get some of that scale off as much as i can best i can so now that it's still hot i'm gonna go back over here on the board or on the anvil just flatten it out it's gonna move on you gonna work with it, but, you know, 
flatten it out, make it nice and flat. Right, Got to go back in for another heat. Take it out for that heat. Keep flattening it out. You want this nice and flat because this is going to be what's going to hold your pan over the fire. You know, it might it might start to change shape on you, which is okay. You know, if it changes shape, you just you know, beat it back into a circle. Hey, she's pretty flat now. I'm gonna put it in for a heat for a little bit longer because I gotta, I wanna bend this straighter. And then not only that, but I want to make everything symmetrical and make it look right. So I got it as flat as I want to get it, but right here, I want to straighten that out a little bit. So I'm going to put it on the edge of the anvil and make that a little straighter. I might need to use some pliers for it. But, hey, look at that, I didn't. I straightened it out just perfect. Gonna flatten it out, make it look proper, nice and, nice and good. Alrighty, now that portion, that's done. So what I'm gonna do, whenever I put it on the swing arm, I'll be able to put my pan right on top of that. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna cool this down. I'm gonna come about maybe about this length out. I'm gonna cut it there and have to, I'm gonna put a pigtail on it so that when it slides over the swing arm stake, I can be able to move it in and out from the fire. But I'm gonna let this cool down and I'm gonna do that next. So now what I'm going to do to cut the end off, I'm going to use my little wedge that I made out of an old axe head that was welded on a square piece of stock that will sit down there. Now what I'm going to do, it's all hot, bring it out, and I'm going to cut it right there, just like that. Square up that tip, clean it up a little bit. I don't want to draw it out too much, but I'm going to bring it to about that. Now what I got, what I have to do is I got to heat that back up in there so I get it nice and red. And I'm going to pick up that other piece that I cut off and I'm going to actually use that to spin that and put the pigtail on it around it. All right, so now what we're doing I started the pigtail. I just use a pair of pliers and grab hold of it. And of course, my pliers do not want to cooperate. And you just bend it around like this, and then it creates that pigtail that you want. Alright, it's a little on the tight side, which is okay. You just do that and now you have that pigtail. And what's what that's gonna do is it's gonna set like this in there on your swing arm and it's gonna hold it steady like that. See? No hands and the rod straight up and down. Alright, well. I realized that I uh, bent it and put the pigtail on the wrong wrong way. So I gotta bend that around real quick. Straighten her out. So there we go. I turned it so it's, it's flush with this and that. So then the pigtail will sit on my swing arm stake. So all I gotta do now, I'm gonna clean it up with the wire brush there got it all nice and clean I'm gonna hit it one time to straighten that piece out I'm gonna test it to turn a little bit straighter there we go so that's our swing arm put your pan on here and put your pan on there and that's how you cook over the fire. 
There she's done. So this is the finished product. You put your stake in the ground there, slide this over it, and you set your pot or your pan right on top of it over the fire like that. That's that one. Now, if you want, if you don't want to have this on, you can swing it out the way. You can put your pot hook on. Hang your pot, or you can hang your kettle, you know, whatever your fancy is. I made all that, and it swings in and out. So you can have both of them, one of them, doesn't matter whatever one you want, and you just comes in a two-piece construction, pop them all off, pull it out of the ground, Roll it up in your blanket. You're good to go. Move on to your next campsite. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, the next time I do an overnighter out in the woods, I'm going to use the swing arm cooker in my kit. And I'll show you guys how we, uh, how we work with it. So you guys have a good one, and I appreciate you watching.